What's up everyone, my name is Alex Cost, and today we're going over five body language tips to make you look more attractive. If you've seen my videos before, then you know that I always talk about how important first impressions are. Like it or not, people are constantly creating their own opinions about you. A lot of times before a single word comes out of your mouth. And let's be honest, you're judging people too. We all do it. It's part of human nature. We do it without even realizing we're doing it. So let's talk about how you can use your body language to make you look and feel more attractive before a single sound comes out of your mouth. Starting with tip number one, avoid your pockets, all right? If you wanna show confidence, then sticking your hands in your pocket is the wrong move. It's gonna give the impression that you're shy or even scared. It's literally the opposite of being confident. The last thing that you want is to look uncomfortable, is to look like you're unsure of yourself, especially to someone who hasn't even had the opportunity to meet you properly yet. So instead of having your hands hidden in your pockets, Take them out, you know, use them. Use them for conversational purposes. Use them to hold something if you have to, whether it's your phone, your wallet, your keys. It doesn't really matter. That way though, people won't think that you're trying to hide your hands. Number two, don't look like the boring group of friends. And let me tell you a story that's gonna explain this, all right? I'm sure you can relate to this. It's the weekend and you're out with your favorite group of friends, right? It's supposed to be exciting, but Sometimes we don't show it very well. We go to a bar with our best friends and we stand there, right, against the bar, looking around, trying to find something, trying to find someone, instead of enjoying the company of who we're with. And guess what? That shows people that you and your friend or friends, you guys are not fun. You're just standing there looking for fun somewhere else. That's not attractive at all. But if you're having fun with your friends, if you're laughing, if you're chatting, telling each other stories and jokes, then people will notice that and they will be very interested to find out what the heck you guys are so happy about. I'm not asking you guys to go and fake anything, all right? But give your friends your full attention. Face them, keep eye contact, smile, you know, and good things will follow naturally. And trust me guys, girls want to be in the middle of the fun crowd, so they will come to you. They will want to find out what you're so happy about. And to make things better, you're actually having fun doing it, so it's a win-win. So make sure you try this next time you're out with your friends. Number three, kind of a funny one, but very true. Take wide steps when you're walking. When you take wide steps, it shows others that you're on a mission. It gives more purpose, all right, to your walk. It shows more confidence. You're on your way. You're going somewhere important, and that is attractive. And when you're taking tiny little penguin steps, you know, it gives others the impression that you're not confident. You, you just have no plans. You don't even know where you're going. You're unsure of things. And I know it might seem like we're overthinking things, but it's actually the opposite. We as humans, we notice that body language and we associate them with those feelings of confidence or fear without even thinking about it. It's an automatic thing. So walk with purpose. Show confidence in your steps. Number four, don't cross your arms when you're socializing. You know when you're walking into a club and that massively jacked security guard is standing there with his arms crossed, right? They do not look like the guys you want to approach and have a friendly conversation with. I will tell you that right now because their job is to literally intimidate you, to look intimidating, not the look you want for yourself when you're trying to make friends. In a social setting, you cross your arms when you're cold, when you're nervous, when you're you know, on your guard. It's a protective posture. It's not a friendly, approachable one. So uncross those arms, all right? Relax a little and hit them with a smile instead. Tip number five, guys, stop fidgeting. All right, if you can't keep still, you're probably worried about something. This is the normal thing to do when you're worried. You're like finding a place for your hands and there's no place. Some of us even fidget with our legs, right? We keep moving them because we're so nervous or excited or anxious. Fidgeting in any way is a clear sign that you're nervous about something. When you're not fidgeting, you're cool, you're calm, you're collected, which are all attractive features. I actually used to fidget a lot. I used to move my hands and move my legs and I had to learn to control myself. And what worked for me is this. Stop everything. Stop thinking, stop moving, all of it. Now shake it off, your arms, your neck, your legs, like shake it off and then focus on your breathing and on your posture, all right? Keeping your back straight, breathing in and out and feeling the air go through your nostrils. That's it. You know, do it a few times a day when you're feeling anxious and you're gonna start actually doing it daily and naturally after a while. And guys, I wanted to give you a bonus tip here. Make sure that you stand up straight and keep those shoulders back as often as possible. Look, I'm on my phone and my computer so damn much that I'm actually having posture issues right now. So I always stand up super straight if I catch myself slouching like this on my phone or my computer or just walking around. I'm like, come on, Alex, like, 
Get it together, man. It's one of the hardest things because if you've trained your body, you know, the wrong way, then it can take a really long time to change your habits, but I'm committed to doing it. And if I can do it, so can you. So together, let's remember to stand up, stand up straight, shoulders back, chest out. It's better for your look, but most importantly, it's better for your health. Guys, don't forget to follow my Instagram. It's at Alex Costa for some summer inspiration there. I've been posting a ton of pics and videos, summer style, everything there. So, and I also just announced the winner of the giveaway that I did my last giveaway on Instagram. So make sure you check it out. It's at Alex Costa and hit that subscribe button below. Hit the bell to become part of the YouTube family. We keep growing every day. I'm super appreciative of that. We're almost at 2 million subscribers and I can't thank you guys enough. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Peace.